Hi guys. Um, hi everyone. Hi Kilda. I see you. So yes, the American R. Let me know in the comments if you are experiencing issues. Hi Nikki. Hi. Uh, you're here. You made it. So let me know if you're experiencing issues with the R sound. And if you are, tell me in what words or what positions. Because I want to show you that although the R is a tricky sound, some words are easier and some words are more complicated. And you need to know the difference between the two and what to do in order to make the complicated words more um, less complicated. So yes, hi from Brazil, and we have from Syria, and we have from uh, all over the place. So good to see you, Maryland. Um, welcome everyone. Okay, so I asked you if you are experiencing any issues with the R sound, and if so, if you can point out if it happens when, you know, every time there is an R, or maybe when it's at the beginning, or when it's at the end, maybe perhaps, you know, it's after, when it's after certain sounds, like, um, okay, so I just saw a comment here from Douglas, when it comes before an L, like world, probably girl, right? So this is tricky, yeah, because it has the R sound, and okay, so good. Okay, so the to make the R sound, you want, first of all, let's talk about the actual R sound, and then we're going to talk about the difference between the strong R and the soft R. Yeah, there are actually two different R sounds. The strong R appears before a vowel or soft R that appears after a vowel. But let's begin with making the R sound. To make the R sound, you want to bring the tip of the tongue up. Okay, you can really see my tongue here. So the tip of the tongue is going up, but not touching anything. Now, as you can see, my tongue is spread out, right? It's flat, it's spread across my mouth, and the sides of the tongue touch the insides of the upper teeth. Yeah, I see more comments about girl and world. Yeah, absolutely, these are tricky words and we're gonna talk about those today. Okay, so remember, you wanna bring the tip of the tongue up. There is contact between the teeth and the tongue, and it's a continuous sound. Now, every speaker is substituting or not substituting, but maybe you are making the American sound and you just wanna fine tune it, that's okay, we'll talk about that. But if you don't know how to make the American R, you first need to know what are the substitutions that you're making. So for example, for all you Spanish, uh, Russian, um, Arabic speakers, you're probably substituting the R sound with a trilled R, 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 okay? So instead of saying right, you may say r, 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 right. If you're doing that, you need to remember that there is no contact. And instead of a tap, right, of, you know, a trill, that where the tongue is kind of like vibrating against the upper palate, the tongue pulls back and it's a continuous sound closer in sound to an L or a W, er, and as you can see, my lips round as well, er. So hold out the sound. If you hear, rrr, then you know that you are going back to your old habits. Rrr. But if you pull the tongue in, er, right? Pull it in, spread it. Feel that the sides are touching the insides of the upper teeth. Round your lips. Right. Think of making a y sound as in yes, y, right? Do it with me. Y. Now, as you're making the y sound, the tongue is in the right position for the R as well. The difference is that the tongue is down here for the y, y. So you want to lift the tongue up. Er. So if you manage to control your tongue, Try it by making a y sound and then lift the tongue up. Yer, er, 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 until you hear this really tense R sound. Another substitution that, substitution that you may be making if you are a Hebrew speaker, a German speaker, a French speaker, is that you're making a velar R. 
okay? Or r instead of the r sound, okay? So in this case, your tongue is down, it's flat, your lips are relaxed, and actually just the back of the tongue is touching the soft palate, maybe the uvula. So here we want to relax the back of the tongue. Imagine like you are pronouncing an L sound. Ooh, right? Because for the L, you lift the tongue up. Ooh. But instead of bringing the tongue up to touch the upper palate, ooh, just pull it back a bit. So let's start by making an A ah sound and bring it up for an L. Alla. And then bring it up without touching the upper palate. Imagine like you're saying an L sound. Uh, uh, uh. You see, it's already changing. Uh, and if you round your lips, uh, you get the R sound. Uh, one more thing you can try is start with a J sound, as in judge. J and as you're pronouncing the J, pull the tongue in. J until you feel that the j sound is fading out and then you hear the strong r sound j -r 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 -r. so that's the r sound okay now sometimes um some speakers may substitute it with an l sound right right like a light tap so again here remember that there is you know that it's a continuous sound Rrr. okay and i think rounding the lips and really feeling the sides of the tongue touching the teeth is helpful here. Er. Okay, so that's the the actual R, but I'm right now talking about the strong R when it's before a vowel. So let's look at a few more words with the strong R. Red, rain, rough, result, that's when it's at the beginning, it can also be in the middle, like around, already, carry. Okay, so see my how I round my lips? I don't want you to do something like this. I don't want to see carry, carry, carry. <laughs> so although I'm making the R sound here, carry, it doesn't have the nice quality, the intensity, the volume, carry, right? See the difference again between right right so my tongue is in the right place and right er, er. totally different totally different sound placement sound quality think of it think of your mouth as an instrument right and when i'm doing this er then it's a very small instrument the resonance box think of a small guitar versus a larger guitar or a flute right and when i'm extending my lips forward I'm creating more space for the voice to resonate. And then you get this really nice, strong sound. Er, er. Okay, so, so far we talked about the strong R. Now I bet that most of you don't experience issues with the strong R. So what we did here is just fine tune your sound, making sure that you round your lips, making sure that you're not substituting it. And if you feel that you know how to make it, but you always go back to your you know, your neutral sound, then just practice it by reading out loud or speaking slowly and attentively, making sure that you're nailing every single R sound. If you don't have someone to give you feedback, record yourself and listen to it and try to detect if you are using the R sound that may sound like a W sound at the beginning or you're, actually, or you're going back to your R or R sound or any other sound that you're making. Okay, so that was the strong R. Now, the secret begins when we're talking about the soft R. Because here's the thing. The soft R is an R vowel. It's an R that appears after a vowel. It is found in words like car, where, here, for. Now, we we'll see what happens. What happens if I drop the R? Ka, where, yeah. right I drop the R and it still made sense right you understood what words I'm saying and maybe it sounded to you like more like a British dialect or a southern dialect and yes because not all languages pronounce the R in this not all dialects sorry 
uh, of American, of, of English, pronounce the R after a vowel, which means that the vowel is more important than the R. You can actually drop the R and it's still going to be clear, but if you eat up the vowel and the vowel before the R is not clear, and that's the most important thing I want you to take from this lesson, if the vowel is not going to be clear, that's when you, you become unclear. Because if you reduce the ah uh, in car, and you say car, and if you're saying instead of for, fur, it's gonna sound like a different word. And if you, instead of saying short, you'll reduce the aw oh sound, and you'll say something like shirt, and it's gonna sound like shirt, that's a different word, because there's also a, a vowel that is eaten by the R, and that's the er as in stir. Okay, we'll talk about that later. But for now, I'm saying that all those, all those five R vowels, R as in car, say it with me, air as in dare, ear as in hear, or as in for, and or as in poor. Five R vowels where the vowel is more important than the R. It should feel to you like you're going down the steps, like the first step is the vowel, and the second step is the R. And the R in this case is very, very short, reduced, small, tiny, less than, you know, 20% of the energy that you're probably investing right now. So for example, again, I don't want you to go for car, but car. Once you start hearing the R sound, once your tongue starts going up lightly, that's it, the word is over. So make sure you, you stretch out the vowel before the R so the word is actually clear. Car, that's the Oz and father, but I round my, my lips a little more. Guitar, it's not guitar, it's not guitar. Guitar, one, two, three, four, five, count. Guitar. Guitar, practice on stretching out the sound. Control your tongue, that's the secret. Don't let your tongue come up because you wanna be done with this word because it's an, an R word. So the secret here is not to engage a lot of muscle work. It's not to round the lips, okay? Not car, again, car. And make it very, very soft. The air as in care, starts with the a eh sound, so you wanna drop your jaw here and make sure that the tongue is down. Where, dare, care, fair, compare. Right, this is a tricky one because a lot of non-native speakers tend to say compare, where, and then it sounds like were, we were, we were wearing, right? These are two different sounds and then we have the or, or, as in for, right? The o sound, okay? And the or, as in poor. So for all those five R vowels, make sure that the vowel is more important than the R. Finally, there's another R sound that is the er, as in stir, where the R eats up the vowel before, as in first, right? It's not fairest or fierced. Learn her. Okay, so these are the sounds where the vowel is not important and it's eaten up by the R. Burger, murder, learner, okay, all these R's. And this is the R that appears in words, okay, so you ask for it, the world and girl. So now what happens when the R appears before an L? When the R appears before an L, you wanna make sure that you hold out the R, grr, but it's also about the L, because you don't wanna necessarily bring your tongue quickly for the L, girl, because the dark L is created here, somewhere very close to the R. Girl, oh, oh, right, it's here. If you bring the tongue up quickly for the L, girl, it's going to kill the R, it's going to affect it, and you're gonna get stuck. So try to make a longer R than you're used to because it's the place of the vowel and the R. Girl, girl, girl. 
Okay, so it's er, all. Er, and that's basically the sound of the R if you're trying to just isolate it and just make it. Er, all. And that's the L. All. Like when you're swallowing. All. You don't even have to lift the tongue up, but you can after. You're doing all, all. Girl, world. Right? So here only at the end you bring the tongue up for the D and pearl. Okay, so that was my explanation. Now let's look at your questions. What words are difficult for you with the R? So I've seen north, right? So make sure you round your lips for the O. North, not nerth. Okay? Uh, so it's or as in door. So think of the steps. North. And I also saw a question about northern northern right here we have a voice th northern okay hi everyone we have a bunch of hellos here and people from um all around the world okay so nikki's asking uh how to say train okay ah the night okay sorry so she says that the nice the best way to train yourself is to sing with songs and i absolutely agree with it you have some freedom when you're singing along, uh, but also listen to the sounds. So if you're working on the R sound, so listen to all the R's in the song and try to imitate the voice quality and the actual pronunciation. So yes, working with songs or imitation exercises are extremely, extremely helpful. Okay, let me know if you have any other words with R that are difficult for you. So I talked about the R before an L, like world, okay? The word right. Um, okay, so I don't see any more questions. Okay, so once this live video, live um, lesson is over, you can keep on asking me questions about uh, words with R's because I can make more videos about it or address it in my next live lesson. Okay, so. Ginny asking about the word read or read. It's, pretty, it's written the same. I, I read a book and I need to read. Okay, so both of them have the strong R. One has a high E, read. And I read the newspaper. Okay, so what is this? Resolution and important. Okay, so resolution. R you round your lips, that's a strong R. Re, z, schwa. Lu, tense u as in food. And then shen, resolution. I actually have a video about it, about resolution. And about important as well, but I'll explain it. Impor, this is the or as in force. So it's very important to make that s open or sound and not important, right? Are you making that mistake saying important instead of important? If so, let me know in the comments. Impor, important, important. So, okay, so we have here and here. Yeah, they're pronounced the same. I'm here or can you hear me? That's the ear as in dear. Okay. So we have a great question from uh, Klausa, Klausa, I think, uh, how to pronounce rare. Here we have a strong R and a soft R and an E in the middle. It's difficult, but the secret here is to start strong, re, as if you're about to say red, red, but after you're done with the E, re, then you lift the tongue up to a very, very soft R, Rare, rare. If you feel that your R at the end is too strong, try to imitate a British accent. Rare, rare, right? Sounds British, because my British accent. Rare, right? And then go back to making a very subtle R at the end. Let's try rarely, rarely. I was just reading a script with one of my students the other day and the word rivalry was there, and I actually had difficulties saying it. My tongue got twisted. Let's do it together. 
rivalry. Rival, uh, rivalry. See, I have this thing with this word. So it's a dark L, rival. So don't lift the tongue up. Rival, and then round your lips for the R, re. Rivalry. Rivalry. Okay, the word Ahmed is asking about the word prefer. Prefer. These are stir sounds and schwa r. Okay, so the first one is a stir. No. Pr. First one is a schwa. Pr. And then prefer. Prefer. Primary stress on the second syllable. A lot of r here. Round your lips. Prefer. Pr. Make sure, I forgot to say, one of the most important things is to drop the R. If you feel that everything sounds a little hollow and there's a lot of tension when you're speaking, maybe you're not bringing the tongue down after you're done with a strong R. So, for example, um, reality, or I'll, I'll use a better word, rude. Do you hear that it's a little hollow? I usually say rude rude but i hear a lot of my students saying rude rules right and that sounds like this because i'm keeping the tongue up when i'm pronouncing the ooh sound now for all the vowels the tip of the tongue should be down okay and if i keep it up just because it was up for the r and i'm like eh, i'm just gonna leave it there because it feels comfortable then it's gonna sound hollow rule room right Rude, rude, rude. Okay, I have a question about the word controller. Controller. So uh, let's begin with the word control. It's a k sound, schwa, kin, kin, and then it's a long o as in go, troll. Now see what happens to the t after it, before an r. It becomes a ch sound, so the tr is, an, is actually a ch as in chicken, tro, o as in go, and then the dark l, control, o. but then, if you want to say the word controller, you bring the, the tongue up for the l, controller, controller. THR words, through, see through through make sure that the tongue is out for the th and then you pull it in for the r sorry i keep looking to the side i'm uh looking at your comments thir 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 through three throat okay so all of this um are words that are pronounced with an r after the th and you want to make sure that you round your lips throat Okay, there was one more word. Okay, we have the word respect. Okay, can go through all the words here. Rotten. Okay, rotten, rotten, the word rotten. Uh, it's not a flat T. If you've seen my last video about the T's, my last live video, I talked about the T before a schwa N, rotten, and that's never a flap T, so it's not gonna be rotten, okay? rotten or rotten with a light t okay last one for today they are and there are and there okay so i have a video about they are versus there are but let's talk about they are they are that's the r as in car they are but you usually reduce it to there there okay oh so there so, sorry, I will, I'm looking, sorry, I messed up the comments here. I have someone, okay, so, there, sorry, I can't read comments and speak at the same time. There, they're happy about it. It's over there, okay, so it's the same pronunciation, and it's their company, okay? It's their company. T-H-E-I-R, their company, their as in there are, sorry, they are, they're happy about it, and it's over there, T-H-E-R-E, -E. okay? So all pronounced the same, all different words, but they're all, yeah, they're all pronounced the same, all different words, okay? There, there, and there, and um, 
the word there are is a little different because there are, um, there are two R's here. There, you're supposed to say there are, but when you say it quickly, there, there, right? It feels like it's one long R. There, there. One last thing, no one asked me about it, but the word mirror, air, horror, what else? So all these are O-R endings, right? So the O is actually a schwa. So it's basically R schwa R, 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 R. But when it's said quickly, it's just one long R. Air, air, mirror, and horror. Horror movie or horror movie. Okay, you can open your mouth more for the ah. Okay, that's it for today. So we talked about the strong R when it appears at the beginning of a word. We said you need to round your lips, pull the tongue up, make sure that the tip of the tongue is not touching anything, as in red, right, and result. And then we said when the R appears after a vowel, you have to give more space and time for the vowel. Don't lift the tongue up to interfere with the vowel. Car, where, and not were, and car, and for, no. For the vowel is more important than the R, and sometimes the R does eat up the vowel before, as in stir first learn. We said that when there is an L right after, as in girl, world, pearl, then you want to prolong the R a little bit and then make sure that your L is a dark L at in in the back of the mouth, all rather than up here, girl, girl. And when there are schwa R's at the end of a word then it can sound, it, it will sound just like one long R as in air and mirror. Okay, thank you so much guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, you are welcome to subscribe to my channel and tell your friends about this if they're also non-native speakers. So they subscribe too and then you can practice together. Tomorrow I have an awesome video about 10 words in education, words like methodology and thesis and education and student. So it's going to be fun and I also have a PDF sheet and audio practice with it. So after watching the video, you can actually drill the words because change comes from action, not just from thought. So the fact that you understand something is good, but it's not going to get you anywhere if you're not practicing. Okay. It's not going to get you anywhere just understanding it. You have to practice it, you know, develop muscle memory and change habits. Okay, so for the upcoming week, set for yourself the, up, the goal of using the R as much as possible, being aware of the R, awareness is key, so knowing whether you need to make it a strong R and round your lips or to relax it a bit and pronounce it after a vowel softly and shortly. Okay, read out loud, imitation exercises, and just speak to yourself and to many of your friends if you can. That's it. Have a good day or a good night wherever you are and I will see you in tomorrow's video, but it's not going to be live. I will see you next week at the same time for another live video. I haven't decided what it's going to be about yet, so if you have some ideas or questions, let me know in the comments below. Take care and have a lovely, lovely day. Bye.